Well, Marv, now that the trade deadline has come and gone, the summer could turn into the sweepstakes for Kevin Garnett. I was told by a Laker source that Dr. Buzz contacted Glenn Taylor, who owns Minnesota, to discuss Garnett. She's becoming the first woman to ever coach a men's professional basketball team. And in my opinion, she's the closest thing to basketball royalty. One, 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 set a screen, shoot it. We must be willing to get out of our comfort zone if we want to get better. Are you out of your comfort zone? Absolutely. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TNT Overtime. KG calls this guy the general, coming from the big three. Rajan Rondo is joining me. And Rajan, I'm going to start a sentence, and I want you to finish it. So we're going to start off the one player who offers you the most advice. Ray Allen. Let's get the latest, starting with Cheryl Miller in Los Angeles. Thanks a lot, EJ. After game four, Kobe Bryant conducted his post-game interview in a trainer's room and said that officially it was deemed as a left sprained ankle. Kobe said that it might be a foot injury. Well, today we found out at the Lakers practice facility that it is a sprained left ankle. He is listed as day-to-day. -day. He's been receiving around-the-clock treatments, but he has refused to have an MRI or an X-ray. Well, Melo, you guys obviously coming off that tough road trip. Talk about the importance of giving a game like this tonight. We had to go get this one. You know, it, it was a must win. Um, you know, we've been talking for the last week and a half about what we need to do and what we haven't been doing. And it come down to what, you know, how hard we come out here and play. You guys really established your inside game with Nene very early on. Is that a blueprint for the remainder of the season? Well, I think so, man, because, you know, I think with Nene, man, we got to get him going early in the game. You know, we, we're losing if not. You know, we got to get them going early. And tonight, that's what I try to do that. I got some turnover trying to do that. But anytime I get my big man going, we need that. And on release, I got to tell you, this will probably go down as the best interview I've ever done. The food is phenomenal. <laughs> Looking back at the draft and when you went number three with Atlanta, when, what was three of mine? Well, I was excited. You know, um, she, she was nervous. My dad was nervous. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 you weren't nervous. I, all I'm simply say, I don't have to show my hardware because the ballers around the world know. Oh. You feel me, don't you? Ballers, yeah. I ain't got to sit up there bling you because you know. All you got to do is this. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are you saying you want strangers to Google you? Yeah. Wikipedia, baby. Wikipedia. <laughs> That's cool That's though, because you know what? I'm, I'm rocking the socks the and the blouse. Rock, I ain't got no shame. There's no <laughs> shame here. Everybody in here say, I'm sorry, Cheryl, on three. One, two, <laughs> three. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. You I too. can't believe y'all said, what? They still. Yes. Oh, I... Cheryl, I have her. I really have well, power rating. <laughs> I remember. Clash of the Titans. How can you say that about Milwaukee? <laughs> yes, my boy here. Can you believe it? Come on, Rasheed Wallace, and they're just moving on to the NBA Finals. And let me see if I can get this correct. Um, we got two concussions, back spasms, people teeth been knocked out. But just talk about you guys moving on to the finals. Uh, everybody was hungry. Um, you know, they they played a good game down there in Orlando. Actually, they played a good game here uh, the other night. Um, but you know, we knew we had to do. We had to go down there, dig down, get gritty and dirty and grimy, and come out with this win. Can you put this whole season into per, into perspective? You guys jumped out, started the season really well. Injuries, and then there was chemistry issues. But just talk about you guys really starting to get onto the right foot, right at the right time. It's been a roller coaster. Uh. Considering being one game away from elimination, the practice is live. What's been the mood in practice and, and just the mindset? Great mood. You know, we know we have to go out there and do. Joining me is Dwight Howard and Dwight, 28 points, 12 rebounds. You guys fought so hard in the last two games, but just was it just too big of a hole for you guys to fill? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, we, we dug ourselves a hole. You know, we tried to fight out of it, but, you know, uh, they wanted it more than we did, and they got the victory. So, you know, happy for them, and hopefully they go get the ring. Out. You know, coming into the season, we spoke about this uh, earlier, is that this was a team that was built for getting to the finals. Obviously, that hasn't happened, but how do you put this season in per into uh, perspective? I think we had a pretty good season.